Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting. Well, wedding services startup Meragi has raised $9.1 million in a Series A round of funding led by Axel with participation from existing investors, Peak 15 Partners, Venture Highway and angel investors like Anupam Mittal. The company says this capital is going to help it expand into additional cities, launch new business verticals and enhance tech solutions for its customers. For more about the company, the opportunity and the way ahead, I'm now joined by Lakshmi Narayanbi, the co-founder of Meragi. Lakshmi, thank you very much for your time here on CNBC TV 18. And, you know, let me just start by saying we know just how much Indians love a big fat wedding. Uh, Jeffries estimates the market size is at $130 billion odd. Uh, you know, but it is a largely unorganized industry, highly fragmented at that. What is the size of the opportunity for a startup like Meragi? So like you rightly said, uh, uh, you know, the market is huge. And uh, uh, before I actually get into the answers, uh, thank you for inviting me uh, on the show. Uh, very happy about it. So getting back to the question, uh, I think the market cap for any organized player like Miragi, uh, and there could be many more, can be easily uh, upwards of $5 billion over a period of time. And uh, uh, with, this, with regards to the overall market size, uh, that I think Miragi can look into in the next uh, five years. We are looking at uh, an annualized trend rate of about 1,500 crores of uh, GMV. Okay, so five, uh, you know, billion dollar opportunity for a company like you. But before we get to the funding, uh, you know, another question on where Miragi really is present right now in terms of your presence. Give us a sense of, you know, how many clients you've served, what sort of tech products are you bringing into the mix to elevate customer experience a bit on that? So we are currently operating in Bangalore, Hyderabad, NCR, Jaipur, and Goa. Mm -hmm. We have served more than 3,000 uh, customers so far in the last three years. And uh, Bangalore is the first market that we launched and Hyderabad. Uh, NCR and Jaipur are the newest markets we just launched a few months ago. And Goa is our destination wedding vertical that we have been running for about two years now. All right. So, you know, Bangalore, Hyderabad, NCR, Jaipur and Goa, like you said, uh, how are you going to use this $9.1 million of funding then? Uh, because you're looking to expand into more cities. What, you know, what cities are you looking at? Uh, what kind of investment are you looking to make, uh, you know, into setting up more experience centers and so on? That's right. So a big part of our uh, new fundraise is going to be invested in growing, uh, uh, you know, the new cities, which I just mentioned. NCR in itself is like a combination of three cities, right? Gurgaon, Delhi, and Noida. And then when I say Jaipur, Jaipur is the head office, but it's the entire of Rajasthan that we'll be catering to. So a large part of our funding will be going into newer business uh, verticals as well as newer uh, cities. Um, and uh, a lot of it also will be deployed into technology. We want to this year launch a lot of customer uh, facing applications. So far, all the technology that we have built is more for uh, our internal operations and supply chain digitization. But this year, we plan to launch some really cool. Uh, customer facing applications like the wedding planning tool or the venue consultation, catering consultation tools, etc. All right. Uh, you know, uh, quickly on the word on the financials as well. Last year, Meragi generated 48 crores in gross merchandise value. You want to now double this in the current financial year at 100 crores or so. Uh, what are going to be the key growth drivers and are you making profits or, you know, what is the path to profitability you could tell us about? A big part of our revenue, uh, sorry, gross merchandise value next year is going to come from uh, new cities as well as new categories. So until last year, we were operating in two categories, which was wedding decor and wedding planning. Uh, however, this year we have launched wedding photography, wedding catering, and the newer cities. Uh, a big part of the 100 crore uh, in uh, gross merchandise value will be coming from these uh, areas. And um, uh, apart from that, we also look at uh, uh, increasing our overall uh, customer acquisition in the existing cities. So right now, uh, you know, in Bangalore, uh, we do about 150 new bookings a month. We are looking to take that to about 200 to 250 every month. So these are the two key uh, uh, improvisations that we'll be doing to get to the 100 uh, crore GMB. Well, I, and the question on, and are you profitable yet? Yeah. So that was the next question. So are existing cities and existing categories are. Uh, profitable. For example, Decor Vertical in Bangalore is profitable. All right. uh, Goa is profitable. New cities and newer verticals will take about 18 months sure. to get to go. 
Uh, you know, a quick final word on what the average spend your typical customer is making, uh, you know, through Meragi. Uh, you know, is inflation impacting the wallet spend, for instance, especially food inflation? Uh, what is the outlook there and some of the key trends that are emerging? Well, the average spend as of today is around five to six lakhs per customer. This could be a combination of multiple services. Uh, three key trends that we're observing, obviously, like a lot of the couples are now influenced by the Bollywood celebrity weddings. They want and aspire for such weddings, but within their limited budget. So that's where, you know, Miragi is really useful for them. Uh, the other trend is that the couple and the family now care a lot more about their experiences and their close ones experience at the wedding rather than being, having like big, fat, uh, large uh, weddings, they're looking at more curated, uh, high quality, experiential, professional weddings, and they don't want their wedding to look like any other. So there's a lot of customization that uh, we are able to offer at scale, and that's what is working for us so far. All right. Uh, well, uh, on that note, uh, thank you very much for this interesting conversation. That's all the time we had, but it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for having us. All right.